Okay, friends, in today's Up Close Read Aloud, we are going to enjoy Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. This is a wonderful book that Miss Paulson and I are going to enjoy learning all of our learning intentions together with you through this book. And I'm going to read the inside cover because I think it's really, really important um, for some books, but especially this one. So we're going to start right here. Meet Ruby, a happy, curious, imaginative girl. But one day, she finds something unexpected. A worry. It's not a very big worry at first, but every day it grows a little bigger and a little bigger until eventually the worry is enormous and is all she can think about. But when Ruby befriends a young boy, she discovers that everyone has worries. And not only that, there's a great way to get rid of them too. This is a very perceptive and poignant story. It's the perfect springboard for talking to you guys about sharing what we might have as hidden concerns. So, here is our main character. I want you to notice she has super fun pigtails, her, she has a nice smile, her eyes are closed, you can tell by her feet, she's dancing around. We know that she is happy. We do. All right, here's our title page. Ruby finds a worry. What do you notice about this page? So we see, we know that the, the darkness, darkness normally means what? Think about that. Darkness on a page normally kind of means something gloomy but then we see some yellow, and yellow typically means happy. Dad's shirt is yellow, the buckets are yellow, the balloons are yellow, and I want you to keep your eye on what might be hiding back there behind the blow-up inner tube for swimming. All right, let's get started. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high, and she loved to explore wild, far away places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day, and again, friends, let's look here. We kind of see the, the outside perimeter of the book is looking a little gloomy, looking a little sad. But Ruby's still here, and she's got a little burst of yellow there, so we know there is still some happiness. She discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. Let's look at Ruby's face right there. She's not sure what to make of the worry. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby hardly noticed it. Just hanging out there on the bench. But then the worry started to grow. You can see he's getting a little bit bigger. Each day it got a little bit bigger. I love that Ruby is reading an amazing book called War and Peace. She's just in her chair hanging out trying to enjoy a book and look at her worry with his one big unibrow. I don't know what to think about that. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box, and it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. And we can see here with Ruby's face, she's not our happy girl that she once started the story with, is she? And, and we can see that the tone of the page is grays and kind of gloomy. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just 
wasn't. Look how big the worry is getting. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved, like swinging. If you remember, you look back in the beginning of the book, when she's swinging, her feet are up high and she's so happy. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Oh my goodness, now the worry was enormous. Enormous, the worry's taking up three seats. She's just trying to read her book. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time. It filled up half the school bus. Oh my goodness. And it took up whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about. And it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then, one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was! Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind, and as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. It's getting smaller. Then Ruby did the best thing you could ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. This is a wonderful, wonderful story. And Miss Paulson and I are going to enjoy exploring this story with you, my friends, over the next couple of weeks. Have a great day.